Wait, wait, wait. Are you <laughs> sit there, you're all lonely. I think you should have some company. I think so too. <laughs> Any oh, come, look Michael. how excited she is! It's like Chris is like, help! Sharon! Oh! oh somebody oh, play oh, Planet for me first! Hello! That's so nice to have you. But hang on a second, surely, surely, I mean, you work on Emmerdale. This must have happened before, hasn't it, Sharon? No, they wouldn't let me. They what? Well, not surprised. No, we got thwarted. We got, did, we, did, did we get thwarted? We, yes. You came up to the show and, uh, for one reason or another, the, it was because... decided we couldn't meet. Well, oh. probably because she'd do this. <laughs> Listen, a little bit of discreet adoration. Never hurt anybody well and also the good thing is you know, get in with the writers yeah I mean, what, exactly you know, that's a, that be is, nice that is, to me it's <laughs> conference tomorrow it is very funny, Sh really. hey, Sharon, this is unbelievable yeah, i think we'd better run a clip i think years. so too <laughs> I mean, he is, he, is a, he is a rogue, obviously. He's a yes. bit of a rogue. But it seemed up until that point that he was really trying to change his ways. Well, indeed. And, and he, you know, he, he has done some despicable things in the past. I mean, his moral compass is slightly different to most people's. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but he is, as you said, he's trying to, trying to do good. But then he gets faced with, you know, the lesser of two evils. What should, should I do? And he, so he embarks on this um, great foolishness for very good reasons. Yes. Well, he's a shocking father as well. Terrible, ghastly, hideous, <laughs> hideous, irredeemably bad. Uh, but 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 he's also got a certain charm, and he's he's trying to get back with his daughters, and he's succeeding to some yeah. extent. Yeah. Yeah. He's not doing too badly. And the problem with this charity situation is that ultimately, and I mean, I've never I've never been in a heist or anything like that, but I imagine the most important thing is to trust each other, and they just do not have that. Well, indeed, and, and of course, you know, Frank has been a, a, a sort of lone wolf. He's always worked on his own, so she's a complete unknown commodity. And yet, at the same time, because he's kind of... He's trying to go straight, mm. but there is the, this thrill of, you know, the, the good old bad old days. So there's a part of it that, you know, that is very exciting to him. Well. What's she going to be like, our charity, as a sidekick, as an accomplice? Well, indeed, it's, it, that's the brilliant question, because she, of course, is A, a loose cannon, and B, a complete unknown quantity. So, it, so I mean, anything could happen. And sort of does. And it, it happens in more ways than we expect, because although he's sort of starting this relationship with Megan, they end up kissing. And it was the strangest thing. Because when I had done it, as yeah. it were, I was seized with tremendous guilt. As, um, as Michael, I thought, oh, no, this isn't real, Prayed, you know, but, <laughs> but, but I, I did. It's never happened to me before. I, I, I felt dr honestly really, really terrible. I, I shouldn't, be, shouldn't be doing Which shouldn't is exactly what I imagine he's, he's, feeling, he's feeling too. So yeah. wh where's that going to leave him? I mean, is, yeah. that, is, did this, is it a real feeling he's got for her that he doesn't realise was there until they were sort of thrown in that situation? Or, I don't know, was well, it just it's like It's like these frissons between people that can happen occasionally. You know, you see someone and you go... Oh my goodness! There is that. There is definitely a spark of attraction, and I think he genuinely feels that. But he, he he's with someone else. But then again, they do this thing. The adrenaline is flowing. Circumstance. One thing leads to another. And then before he registers what's going on, and arguably before she does too. Yeah. Something's happened. A big thing has happened. And then then what happens? Are you loving it? Um, do you know what, Philip? The one thing I. I I really hadn't prepared myself, how could I, was quite how much I am. And I think, I think a lot of it is to do with, this might sound a, an absurd thing to say, but nevertheless, for, m for me it's true, there's something about Yorkshire folk. Mm -hmm. And also, when you walk into a soap opera, um, again, I hadn't really thought this through, essentially what you're walking into is one huge fraternity, and mm -hmm. they welcome you in, certainly me, with, with open arms, and it's, I am... It, uh, came, we came back from holiday and I was walking to the studio at Cracker Dawn and I, for the f I thought, I'm really looking forward to going ah, back to work. Yeah. That's such a good thing because also you, your family are all in London and so yeah. you're commuting pretty much. So, yeah. I mean, that could be a nightmare, really. Yeah, but there's no perfect system, is there? Yeah. You know, the Apollo 11 rocket had six million moving parts. Six million moving parts that were designed within a tolerance of 99.9%. And if every single one of those moving parts worked to their design specifications, there would still be 6,000 things that didn't work. So there's no... That just goes to show... Is that yeah. your party trick you just did, then? <laughs> no, that's, that's a pretty good, that that's a, good that's fact. That's a good fact. That's a good fact. So, and the fact is, Emmerdale, get this, for the first time... In 22 years, we won the National Television Awards. Yeah. We won the Broadcast Awards. The, the figures for 2016 are in. Mm -hmm. Emmerdale 
got a 32% share and EastEnders got a 31.1% share, which is not to say they did badly. It's just to say that for the first time, historically, mm. Emmerdale know, is doing supremely well. Well, you also, of and course, have guaranteed your place there now for a while after... Have I? Well, obviously, with one of the writers on the... I've got to work on On it. the casting oh, couch. Will you do me the biggest favour? Yes. Later, when I'm... Just can you text me her phone number? <laughs> I'm loving this. She's maybe it's gonna die. Maybe it's Frank you get coming in to pray. Because if I call her, <laughs> maybe I'll take her out for a couple of drinks. What do you think? Yeah. What yeah. Like I think to you're drink? in. Absolutely. I think yeah. you're in. Yeah, definitely. This is between you and me. Yeah, yeah. we won't take Look, I'll open my phone worry. for you. There you go. Just find S. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks. There you go.